You're about to discover my four-step YouTube keyword research method, YouTube keyword research. It allows me to never run out of ideas and even better to drive more views to the videos I publish. It's coming up. You dig? Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time, welcome. It's a pleasure. And if you wanna not only upload, but amplify your videos, consider Ooh. subscribing, hit the bell notification, and you won't miss anything. So today we have a Patreon question from Dan over at Creator Fundamentals. Hey, Brian G, it's Dan at Creator Fundamentals. I was wondering, what's the best way to research topics for new videos? Step number one, keyword collection. For me, the process begins by just paying attention to what people are searching for. Whether I'm on the desktop, ready to upload a video, or I might be upstairs, it's, it's upstairs. Currently, we're down in the lab. And then I save and collect the keyword phrases that I'd be interested in making a video about. Now I use the Apple Notes app because it syncs to the cloud and I've always got my phone or my iPad handy. This allows me to get an idea down, to save it online, and it's always there. Now if you want to jumpstart the process, head over to Answer the Public, which is a free keyword research tool that will give you dozens and dozens of different questions, keyword queries, and more. Simply add a seed keyword, hit get questions, and you'll be good to go. On one of my recent videos, I talked about hopping on trends and how there's so much opportunity, yet so many of you said, nope, it's too saturated. For example, I mentioned the game Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Now here's what most gamers do. Here's what most beauty vloggers do. Here's what most YouTube people do. They target the most common keyword queries. For example, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds would be just that. Maybe you would create a video and title it, Let's Play Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. That's not a great idea, because of course that's gonna be competitive, but the amount of keyword searches that people are searching for right now is staggering. Take your primary keyword phrase and then go through the alphabet. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds A, B, C, D. Look for a video topic, AKA keyword phrase that excites you and then do further research to identify just how competitive it is. I'll share how to do that as we move forward. And that brings us to step number two. Select the keyword phrases that are not gonna be hard to rank for. And yeah, there's so many available. Start out the process by simply identifying how many videos have been published for the keyword phrase you're potentially gonna create a video about. Even better, pay attention to the top 20 results for that keyword phrase and how well they've been optimized for relevancy. More on that in a bit. Identify stem variations of your primary keyword phrase. For example, if I'm gonna target Player Unknown's Battlegrounds tips, I'm gonna focus on that keyword phrase for my video title. But if you go back to the search query, you'll see there are Player Unknown's Battlegrounds tips and tricks, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds tips for beginners, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds tips to win, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds tips FPS, and lots more. Now you can use these additional keyword phrases that are very relevant and highly related to your primary keyword target to build out your video, to identify exactly what people are interested in. Furthermore, you can use those keyword phrases in your tags, which is so powerful. It's a strategy that's allowed me to drive a lot more views. And that is how we do it. Dig it. Step number four, simply say the keyword phrase you're targeting. For example, we're targeting player unknowns, battlegrounds, tips. And you just say that in the first 10 seconds of your video, just like I did for this video. I mentioned YouTube keyword research. And that's powerful because I'm using that keyword phrase in my title and in my tags. I'll write a description that again contains uh, YouTube keyword research. 
And when I say it, what happens is those words are then put into the transcript, closed captions, that YouTube creates automatically, and that helps my video to rank even better. Now, if you wanna take your research to the next level, this video in the YouTube card is so uber powerful. It's fun, it's wacky, and it'll help you drive those views. Here on YouTube, it's really about identifying what an audience wants and delivering content based on their needs. That's what we're talking about. If you wanna learn more about that, if you wanna grow your channel, make sure to click the yellow B to the G icon below. You'll subscribe and I'll continue to share the strategies that I'm using to grow my channel and you'll feed a poodle. Two, I got two. And they're hungry, you dig? Poof, pixie dust.